Let's talk about maps and weak maps in JavaScript. Maps and weak maps are cool because you can use an object reference, in this example, person one, as a key for the map and store some data against that key. This is also true with a weak map. So the syntax is as following. We create an object here, then we create a new map. We set person one in that map to contain some data. So in this case, it's just a string, but we could use an object. We could put really anything in here against person. And then we can go ahead and retrieve that data. We can say map.get, and then we pass in this person uh, reference here, and we can get the data associated with Steve. So I've actually done an identical operation down below with weak map. Uh, and so we have a person named Eric, and we set some data on Eric, and we retrieve it. And so if I run this in my console, we can see that we're able to retrieve Steve's data and we are able to retrieve Eric's data. So that's really cool. Uh, that unlocks a lot of cool functionality when perhaps the regular object literal doesn't do it for us because we can't use uh, complex objects as keys. So you may be wondering then what the difference is between a map and a weak map. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what is sort of interesting here and why and how we can make the distinction between the two. So Let's take, for example, in our map, we are going to set person one here now equal to undefined, okay? And in our weak map, we're gonna do something similar. We're gonna set person two to undefined. So we're essentially clearing out the, uh, the reference here to this object, and we're doing the same thing below with weak map. And so if I run this in our console, Okay, yeah, you'll see that we don't have anything defined here because we're trying to get something against person one. We're trying to get something against person two, but these are now undefined. So there's really nothing to get here. Okay, that's still the same behavior between maps and weak maps. But this is where it actually gets kind of interesting. So I'm going to get rid of these console log statements. But what I'm going to do is under map, I'm going to say map dot for each. And this takes a, uh, when you iterate through for each, you get the value as the first argument and you get the key as the second. And so we are going to console log key and value of our initial uh, map object here. And let's see what we get. Okay, this is so this is really pretty interesting as we still have in here Steve and this is Steve's data. So even though we cleared out what we might have thought to be the only reference to this object, we actually still maintain this object's reference in our map. So this is kind of a this is a strongly held reference in this map. It is not going to get rid of this unless unless we say map dot delete. And actually we can't delete this if we don't have another reference to it. So we can say map dot delete person one, and now we are actually deleting it from, we are hard deleting it from this set, essentially, this, this map. So yeah, I ran this and there is no, uh, there's no person one. So, so let's talk about what's going on with our weak map down here. So when we set person two to undefined, well, can we do the same thing? Can we iterate through our weak map and retrieve person two? We can just kind of try to see what options we have but really all we get is get set delete and has so this actually tells the whole story at this point we have no ability to retrieve person two's data in weak map it does not exist in fact as soon as we set person two to undefined uh, there is no more reference to this object and it is gone so weak map holds the reference to this object weakly and so if you get rid of all other references to this object, it's gone. It's not in this weak map anymore. That reference is gone and the associated data is gone. So there's a good chance that the uh, garbage collector has just cleaned up this object by now. And so the weak map doesn't have this reference anymore. And so that is the big difference. If you want some data to just be associated with an object, and then when you delete it or when you get rid of that reference outside of the map itself, you want it to be cleaned up in the map, then a weak map is for you.
But if you want to have a map that kind of holds on to these references, even though you might have changed any other references to that object, then consider using a map.